Hi everybody, it's Amy. So I'm going to show you just a really quick tip to zoom in to color block in Autodesk Sketchbook. So if you take two fingers, you can zoom. When you put them on your screen, you can zoom out so you can see the whole thing, okay? I have my colors selected, I'm ready to go, but I want to get in really close because I've noticed that right in here, I have some weird areas that need to be fixed. So just zoom in really close so you can fix these areas faster. So basically, um, you're gonna click your paintbrush and um, click what size you want it to be. I think I'm gonna make it just a little bit larger. I'm gonna get my stylus and when I, when I hover with my stylus, I can see the size. I'm not touching, I'm just hovering. So I'm gonna go lower my size. I want it to be a little bit smaller. There we go, that's better. So basically you can go and you can fill in any areas you've missed. There we go. Uh, sometimes that happens when you're coloring, you see just little blocks that are all weird. So what I do is I do all the areas first. I'm gonna use my fingers to zoom out and my fingers, two fingers at a time to zoom in. Uh, use your other hand that you have your stylus in. If you use the same hand with your stylus, it'll think that you're drawing, okay? So I'm using my left hand here, I'm right-handed. And I'm gonna zoom in here, use my other hand to draw, move it. If I move with one finger, it doesn't work. I need to move with two fingers on my screen. I mean, maybe yours is a little bit different, but we'll see. Okay, so now let's say I've filled in everything I need to fill in. Now I need to tidy up things with an eraser. So I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm closing it out. I'm gonna choose an eraser. And then I'm gonna zoom out so I can see where I need to fix. Like, let's say I wanna go in and I need to erase some areas up in here and then down in this area. I'm just hovering to show you. So then I'm gonna make my eraser a little bit smaller, and then I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully delete areas I need to. Now with this clownfish, it's not like really important for this practice to be perfect. This is just a practice. And then if I made a mistake and I took too much out of this area, I can control Z to undo it. And then maybe I need to go zoom in even more. And then I can clean it up a little bit. And even in the corner there, I might need to make it even smaller. You can, if you can get so close that you can see the pixels, you can just touch it lightly. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. That looks a little better. And I see some areas in here. So just go around and clean up the areas you need to. The next step for your fish after you clean it up is you're going to go and add the black areas and um, you know, tidy up things. You're only required right now to do the first three. This is going to really help. Okay. So I think there's that. But then I noticed, oh no, I forgot an area. I really wanted this to be in. You can always go back and add the brush and color it in the way you need to. Okay, so then I'm gonna use both fingers to zoom it all the way back in. Then I'm gonna do a super important step and that is Control Z to save my work. And you can also go to save and it'll save for you. But sometimes it's gonna ask you to replace the original. Click yes, um, or you're gonna have lots of copies along the way. Okay, those are my zooming in tips that are really going to help you. Thanks for watching.